Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the left hand and playing melodies with the fingers. Now this is the base of the reading tabs. Uh, as we talked before, we use the left hand fingers, finger one, two, three, four, and we use it on the first position, which plays fret number one, two, three, and four. If you have difficulties uh, so far understanding the tablature, I promise you after this lecture or this video, uh, you'll have no problem reading the tablature. One thing I just want to make sure of is you really have to cut your left hand nails really short in order for you to play with the tips of the finger and to press on the frets without making any buzz. Okay, the, the buzzing sound in the beginning is really frustrating and you don't know is it you or the guitar or the pick or the strings. There are many variations. So if you uh, take the fingers uh, or the, the left hand nails off the equation uh, and you still have or hearing a buzz this might be uh, an old strings or the guitar but it's not you at least you know it's not you and your fingers is not making that buzz and then you can uh, go fix the guitar or change the strings and you will hear a nice sound coming out of your guitar When it comes to the left hand, there are two rules. The first one is try to play with the tips of the finger, not with the bulk of the finger. Both will produce the same sound, but playing with the tip of the finger will um, make your fingertips ready when we start to play the chords. The second rule is try not to jump with one finger from fret one to fret three, for example. Okay, try to use uh, many as many fingers as you can finger one three and two uh, and four uh, later on maybe we'll use four but right now we're going to focus on uh, finger one two and three because the pinky is a little bit weak so just keep these two rules in your mind playing with the tips of the finger and try to play with many fingers and don't jump uh, from fret to fret with one fingers and everything will be fine right now let's take a look at exercise number one which you're going to find uh, the audio file for, which is track number five. So um, in the previous video, I told you you can use any method, uh, pick or the index and middle finger. I'm going to use the I and M to play all these exercises, number one, two, three, and four. You're welcome to use the pick um, or the I M. It's your choice. But again, when it comes to the right hand, we only have one rule, which is the alternating. Try to alternate and try to play as slowly as you can to focus on both hands, the right hand and the left hand. One, two, three, four. Now let's analyze this exercise. Number one, I used uh, the I M and alternate. I M I M. On the left hand, I played right behind the fret. I didn't play here, otherwise the sound would be. Okay, so right behind the fret and also alternated with the I and the M. Now here I played with the third finger, again right behind the fret. Now you don't need to stretch from finger one and three. You don't need to keep the first finger while playing the third. Although it's a good idea because it will help your finger to stretch, but in the very beginning you don't have to. You can take the first finger off and play with the third finger. And then went back. All this with the I M uh, or the pick is going down and up. Let's try exercise number two. One, two, three, four. Let's try it again, 
uh, a little bit slower this time. Three, four. Again, I can't stress enough that you need to play a little bit slower than you think uh, you can play. Okay, Playing fast is not the goal at all. Uh, the goal is to play with the right and the left and the right is making alternating while the left is using finger one, two or three. So the goal here is to make these two hands work together. Exercise three, one, two, three, Four. Now, this exercise is going to be different from the other exercises we did so far. Because when you play the second fret on the second string and keeping your finger here, the second finger, when you play the second string, that's okay, but when you play the first string, this might happen. Now why this has happened? Because the second finger is actually touching the first string. Now there are two ways to fix this problem. Number one, check your thumb, your left hand thumb. If your thumb is uh, high like this, chances are um, definitely your finger is going to touch the first string. So all you have to do is just lower your thumb a little bit. See when I lower my thumb, the finger leaves the first finger, the first string, sorry. So now there's more room under the second finger so it doesn't touch the first string. If this didn't work, check your left hand nails. Maybe your left hand nails are a, little, are a bit long, uh, so try to trim them out, and this might also fix the problem. Because the long nail on the left hand will prevent you from playing on the tips of the finger. And playing with the tips of the finger is the only way that you can, that you can do this without uh, blocking or blocking the first uh, string. Although there is nothing wrong with doing this, it's better if you can keep your finger, the second finger or the first finger uh, or the third finger while playing the other string. But uh, try both and uh, this problem uh, might just need a little bit of practice and a left hand adjustment and it will work fine. Exercise number four one, two, three, four. Again, here you don't have to keep the first finger in order for you to reach the third finger, okay? If, if you think that this is too hard for you, take the finger off, play the third finger, and then back. But if you can do it, if you can do this stretch, uh, this will be very good uh, for the fingers, and it will strengthen your fingers and make them stretch out, uh, and you can focus only on reading the tabs, and the third finger and the first finger will know their way. The last thing I want to say is uh, try to make these exercises on different strings and different combination of strings, or even make up your own exercises. I'm sure it will be uh, much fun to play an exercise you just created. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to write it in the questions. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one.